Hey guys, Jerry with Backwoods Animation, and today I'm going to show you how to actually animate a lip sync. Um, so this is part of a larger tutorial, and if you want to actually see how I created the mouth rig and applied it to the head and did all the other like post work to get it to this point, take my Skillshare class and I show you everything step by step on how to create the mouth rig attached to the head and then animate it as well. Um, but for this lesson, I'm going to show you exactly how I animate a mouth. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. What's that? No nuts? Okay. And gluten-free. And vegan. Not a problem. And uh, let's get into it. So instead of showing you how to animate the mouth rig that we just created, um, on our static character, I thought I'd mix it up and actually animate on a character um, that I'm using for a client. So this character has animation um, applied to it, and I thought it could be cool to actually do a, a lip sync with a character that has full animation to it. So this is just to kind of liven it up. And your mouth rig should function the same way that this um, character's mouth rig functions. So let's get into it and see how I would set up uh, the animation for this mouth rig. So essentially what you'll do is you will import your audio or your dialogue here. So you'd go file, import, file, and then you would find your dialogue. So my dialogue happens to be this one, and I would just pull it in. And once you've got it imported, then you select it here within your project files and you just drag and drop. Okay, and so that's how you get your audio into your composition. Now, once your audio is in your composition, if you select your file and double click L, so you go LL, it's gonna bring up your waveform. Um, these, this is essentially the peaks of your audio. So whenever you say word, it shows up as a kind of like a mountain. Okay, so this is each word and each syllable filling that word. Uh, I'm gonna use this as a way to actually line up how I control my joystick. And I think this, yeah, this is my joystick here. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, another thing you might wanna do uh, let's say that your dialogue isn't quite loud enough. If you do know how to do this, great. If not, what you can do is you can bump up your decibel points. Um, sometimes you might not need to. Sometimes you might need just a little boost of like six decibels. One way to know if you are <clears throat> in the right decibel range is come over here to your audio tab. And what you're gonna do is just hit period on the number pad or decibel. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. And, and what you're trying to do is you want your audio to hit right here in the yellow. It can peek into the red just a little bit, and that's okay, as long as it doesn't ride in the red the whole time. Um, but, but if you're hitting, let's say that you're hitting down in the green pretty good, so we'll do like maybe negative eight or 10. To That's too low. To you don't wanna be down here in the decibels. You wanna be up right around like negative three, approaching zero. But make sure you're not riding in zero, uh, which is where the red is. Anyway, long-winded explanation. Let's get into the animation. So the way that I do this is I always start by I do about, I don't know, maybe two or three seconds. In this case, we'll do close to three seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna double click my audio. I'm gonna find my mouth control and I'm gonna put it right below my dialogue. If I hit P on the keyboard, it'll bring up my position. Uh, and then the next thing that I do to save time and make sure that everything flows smoothly is I'm going to solo the head. So hit the solo button. Next, I'm going to solo 
the mouth origin so I can see where my boundary is. And then finally, I'm gonna solo the mouth control. So this is gonna make my animation process so much quicker um, because there's gonna be a lot less information that's reading on the computer and I can just go for it and have fun. So the first thing that we can do now is we can set a keyframe. So go to the beginning of your dialogue, make sure that you've hit P on the keyboard while selecting your mouth control and key that position. And if you hit hold control and scrub, you hear that? You can hear what they're saying. It's pretty choppy, but you, you get a picture, you know, it's kind of like a malfunctioning robot. Malcolm, Duke, Chloe, Bakery. Um, and so this is just going to give you an idea of what the word is. So because we're saying welcome, probably right around here, her lips are going to pucker together. It's going to be like that. Right here at the peak of my word, it's going to be the well, so it's going to be an E shape. Well. And the mouth right here at the valley is going to close a little bit. Um, another thing to note is that the mouth doesn't always close shut for every word. It doesn't do this, open shut. Sometimes it's left open and a gape. Uh, and that's important to make sure that your mouth doesn't feel like it's working too hard. Um, if it's chomping open and closed too much, it's going to move too quickly and it might look a little awkward. Um, so don't feel like you have to shut the teeth every time. So and then it's going to be this O kind of welcome. <laughs> So I'm going to move this over a little bit. Uh, and then we have the M shape. So the, the, the lips are going to come together. Come. Welcome to. To Clo. Welcome to. How is Chloe going to look? Clo. So I think it starts off as kind of like a big O and then it Clo puckers into a small O. And then when she goes to E, that's the E shape. So we can move it over. Chloe. And then right here, because it's an S, the teeth are going to come together. Chloe's. And then the B, the B and the M shape are pretty similar. Maybe the lips are a little more puckered on the B. All right, and now we're going into bakery. Welcome to Chloe's bakery. A. Okay, so baker. The er sound is kind of like a a puckered lip as well. And then bakery. And then we'll come around to a smile. All right, so now we have one quick little line of dialogue done. Let's see how it looks. All right, it doesn't look bad, but I'm going to show you a way to make it look perfect. All right, you guys ready for this? So select all your keyframes, hit F9 on the keyboard, and it's going to go easy ease. Next, what we do is hit our graph editor. Right click on your graph editor and make sure you have edit speed graph selected. 
it might say value graph and it's going to look crazy with these x and y coordinates so go to the speed graph instead this is all we need to worry about Next, what you're going to do is select all of your keyframes and you're going to grab anywhere on here. You're going to grab to the left of one of your keyframes, like so, and you're going to crunch them all the way over. So you're going to have this real quick spike and then a nice easy valley. Spike, easy valley. Now let's watch it. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. Welcome. All right. It's very subtle, but in my opinion, that looks so much better because the mouth is quickly moving into position um, and it gives a more natural look to it. And as we go on and we have long stints of dialogue, you're going to see that this is going to make it look so much better um, because if you don't have that, it's going to look very robotic. Is going to be almost like just shapes moving from one to the other very uniformly and it doesn't look that great so make sure you crunch it over like this um, you might even be able to do it even more I don't know if that's gonna help or not let's see All right, I think it even looks better. Okay, so that is the gist. So the three thing or the few things to remember: hold control and scrub. That way you know where you're at in your dialogue. Um, two, make sure that you keyframe um, everywhere it needs to be, and that you've crunched over your timing so that it's like a real quick spike and then that um, and then as it follows the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this control down I can close this guy down and I'm going to open up my next line of dialogue so I hit LL uh, and then I just move forward to here I'll do a key I'll copy the keyframe paste it Hit the decimal so I can you can actually hear what she's gonna say. What's that? What's that? So that's my next line of dog line talk. What's that? What's that's that? right. What? So the lips will pucker in. What? What? What's when it comes to S? <laughs> that. What's that? And then we can go to a smile. And because we've already set the keyframes, it should match or mimic what we've already kind of determined it should look like. Um, so you shouldn't have to worry about it anymore. So now if we hit spacebar, we can watch our animation and see how that part looks all together. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. What's that? Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. What's that? All right, that's looking really good. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do so that I don't bore you with this section is I'm going to actually animate this whole line of dialogue. I'll do it very quickly. Um, roughly, I can do roughly like three seconds of dialogue in, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. So that's just a, a time frame to gauge like how long this whole process should take. Um, using this rigging method, it moves very, very quickly. So you shouldn't have a problem moving very fast, but I've been doing it this way for a long time, so it's very easy for me. So don't be discouraged if it takes you a lot longer. Um, it's just a matter of getting the rhythm and understanding how the control works and where it should be on each syllable for each word. Um, but yeah, have fun with it, play around with it, and let me get into this and then I'll show you the final product.
All right, well, here it is, the final product. I thought it would be really cool to show you guys uh, an actual piece that I did for a client so I can show you a practical use for this mouth rig. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. What's that? No nuts? Okay. And gluten-free. And vegan. Not a problem. Welcome to Chloe's Bakery. What's that? No nuts? Okay. And gluten-free. And vegan. Not a problem. I just think it looks so good. And it, the time that it used to take me to do lip sync a long time ago, it was just such a pain in the butt. And now that I have this, it's like, well, okay, I don't mind doing lip sync because it goes so quickly. And it looks really good too. So I hope that you guys have fun with it and you can explore some different mouth shapes and different ways that you can use this. Like, don't feel limited to um, a very basic design with the lips. You can get very realistic and do a lot of fun things with it. So I hope that this helped you. I hope this was informative. And please show me what you guys have created. If you have a really cool mouth rig for a character, I want to see it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, hit like. Leave some comments. Um, whatever it is that you guys do, I don't know. Um, but just share the love. And again, if you did like the video and you want to watch the whole thing, you can click the link below and take my Skillshare class and support me and better your knowledge on After Effects and Lip Syncs. So it's a pretty informative class and I think that you will like it. Thank you guys for watching.